Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya J TV. Uh, this is week seven of the How to Stretch Your Relaxer series. For week seven, this is kind of going to be like my cheat week. Um, I'm not shampooing this week simply because there is rain every single day. I mean seven days this week. Every day there is rain in the forecast. So I'm not even going to do myself like that by shampooing my hair only to have it get messed up due to rain. Um, so this week I'm going to do my go-to safe style which is the bun. Um, with the bun I can still get away with looking cute without shampooing my hair. Um, normally I do not like to I do not like to skip shampooing my hair unless I'm doing some kind of protective style. But uh, with the bun, it will allow me to wear it up and not have to do anything to it. Because when it's just down um, like this, you know, it just doesn't move really. So um, I'm not, I don't want to wear it down at all. Now, the question is, where do I want to wear my bun? Do I want to wear it at the top? Do I want to wear it like right here? Do I want to kind of pull it back low? Do I want to wear it to the side? Well, okay, give us a little bit more light. Today I wore a side bun, but I have since uh, got me some bangs. This is my bangs. Um, which these will be available on ljoneshaircollection.com and these are made specifically for the bun that you wear at the top. So I think I'm going to do a top bun and it is bedtime right now. So I'm going to do the bun and then tie it up and basically go to bed. But I'll show you how you can tie it up while you still have the bang on. The bang is just a clip on, so it just clips on. Okay, I'm trying to talk a little low because the baby is sleeping right now. But um, anyway, here we go. So this is week seven, and as you can see, my hair is still straight from week six. Remember week six, I did bone straight. So my hair is still straight. That's the good part about this. See, you see no new growth. There's no new growth showing at all because of how straight I got it last week. Um, so the good thing about wearing a bun is, um, well, the good thing about doing a bun this week is that my hair is already straight so it doesn't look nappy. So what I'm gonna do first, since I'm skipping a week, this will allow me to also use my special oil on my scalp so this oil is basically my growth serum magic potion oil um, that I've been testing out uh, and it's just made of different oils that help stimulate hair growth so I'm gonna be applying it directly to my scalp I don't necessarily want it to get on my hair I, I really wanted to get directly on my scalp because I wanted to stimulate my actual scalp. So that's why I'm parting it and just putting it directly on the scalp. And I am, uh, once I'm putting it on the scalp, I'm kind of rubbing it actually in the scalp just to make sure that it gets in there pretty good. 
and I have really been slacking on this but like if you were to have uh, and this is going to be available on the silk hydration website But like say for instance you have some extreme cases of shedding or uh, breakage you would just put this oil on the damaged areas um, on a daily basis and also just if you want your hair to grow in general and I just went across the top so now I'm going to do the back And, but um, what I was going to say was also if you just want your hair to grow. And don't we all want that? I just, um, I don't really, I don't put it on every day because I don't like my hair weighed down and putting this on every day would definitely weigh it down but however so this would be good especially like if you wore braids or um something like that then you could easily do it uh more often okay and then the added shine doesn't doesn't hurt either but uh, with me just wearing my hair straight down, I didn't put any on this week because uh, I wanted my hair to still have body. But since we're doing a cheat week this week, um, I figured I'd oil it up. And that is an optional step, you guys. That is not anything mandatory. And since I want my bun to be pr pretty neat looking, um, what I'm going to do is put a little edge control around the edges to brush it up. Um, the reason why I like using edge control, especially at night, is because um, when I tie it up, after I take it down, it just... It just looks really, really, it gives you that really straight look without it being hard. Um, but you only want to use a little bit of edge control because if you, you, if you use too much, it can like cake up and flake up on you and turn white and we don't want that. But literally, I just put a little teeny tiny bit around the edges. Because after you comb it in, uh, you'll be able to see the effects more. And I'm getting just a teeny tiny bit more just for this back side. And I'm using the smaller end of my comb. Remember, my hair is already straight, so no, there's no breakage or damage that can come from me combing with this small end of the comb. I'm really just using it um, to slick out that edge control that I already put on there. But then I'm going to go behind this and use the brush. And this is the kind of brush I'm using, the brush with the hard bristles. I can tell my hair is growing because look how long this ponytail is on the top now. It used to barely cover the uh, bun. Alright, so now I'm going to... Uh, 
do my ponytails and remember you always want to do not use the elastic rubber bands that come on your like Sunday paper use these because they won't tear your hair out and I'm, I have the same kind it's just a different color It doesn't matter the color you use, but do not use those elastic rubber bands in your hair. They pull your hair out so easily. All right. So, uh, when I do my buns, I normally use two socks. This is two socks, and that's just because um, the longer the hair is, my hair is getting a little long, so I'm using two socks to make the bun look really, really full in the top. And I have darker, darker color socks, and this is just socks that I cut the, the toe out and rolled it all the way down. Uh, but I use darker color because that way, if your hair for instance, if your hair were to ever um, show the sock a little bit, you really wouldn't be able to tell because your hair is dark. When you use like a white tube sock, like say for instance, your hair is thin when it covers this sock. If you ever were to be able to see in between there, you don't want to see like a white tube sock. Me, Okay, that's better. But for instance, if your hair was a little thin uh, you see how the darker kind of camouflages it more um, and I've learned that the hard way I used to use white socks and then you know if my hair was barely covering it you could see that white so good in between All right, and for some reason, I never have enough bobby pins at home to do a bun. So I have learned a way to do the bun without using bobby pins. It's like I always keep, I just started keeping edge control at the house, but I normally keep everything in the salon. When, I mean, when I come home, I really don't want to do hair at all. So I just kind of leave everything at work so um, instead of bobby pins I'm using another scrunchie look see it's the black one this one is kind of stretched out a little bit which is okay because I'm gonna put it put it over the bun and then if there's enough room I'm gonna pull it and do it again so let's see So if I just leave it on there that once, it's kind of too loose. Oh shoot, I forgot to put my bangs on, hold on. Forgot my bangs, you guys. So I'm gonna put my bangs on and I'm gonna have to cut these. But this is just a clip on, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clip it on. And then I'll I'll cut that later to not be over my eyes. Okay. So now I can uh, go ahead and do the bun. And 
if I pull it around again, it's going to be too tight. So what I'll do is just use a smaller scrunchie that's a little tighter and just do it just the once. big scarf because it just it keeps the bun in place no extra wild hair showing or any of that and I can sleep on my sides the um I like wearing my buns on the side like a side bun the only thing I don't like about it is when I do them the night before I can never sleep on the side of the bun because it's just it's like a big hunk right here but anyway with the one on the top I like because I can sleep on my sides I can sleep on my back um, and it doesn't affect the bun at all so I will come back tomorrow to show I'm just basically going to take this off and show that it will still be in place. Alright, be right back. Hey everybody, it's Toya and thank you again for tuning back in. Um, <clears throat> it's the next day and I'm just going to take this off. And that's the other thing about doing your hair at night and just tying it up. In the morning, all you have to do is take your scarf off and voila, it's done. So I'm already dressed. And I saved my hair for last. So, the only thing I'm going to do is comb these bangs forward. And voila, there you have it. And my edges... <clears throat> See, there's no white stuff on my edges because I just used a little bit. So this style will last me for the rest of the week. Today is uh, Thursday. So today is Thursday. I'll probably keep this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll probably shampoo somewhere in between Sunday and Monday. So it only needs to last me just the rest of the week, get me through the rest of these rainy days, and then um, I'll shampoo my hair and then, you know, completely do it over. But this is a good style so you can still look cute. And uh, I know a lot of people like to wear ponytails, but you want to still look cute. There's nothing wrong with wearing it, but you don't want to just look like you just threw your hair back in a ponytail, you know. You want to kind of look like you have somewhere to go. So, uh, this is week seven of the How to Stretch Your Relaxer Challenge. This is my cheat week. Um, like I said, anytime it rains, I really don't have the ambition to do my hair just because I know it's going to get either rained on, messed up, some kind of way. So I'm like, what's the point? So with this way, I was able to oil my scalp really well um, and it still looks straight just because of the results of me straightening it from last week. 